Right, yeah, I want to do a video on UI. I um, did a 30 minute video explaining the whole thing, but YouTube had a cry and ruined my afternoon. So I'm going to try again. Sorry if I'm abrupt this time. Um, quite pissed off and just want to get it done because fuck you, YouTube. Right, we have a UI here. We're going to change this resolution before it kills the game. Now, you all experience this problem, right? You, you go and change the resolution and the UI isn't anywhere you want it to be. Now, this is how I, I, I fixed it. You see this resolution here, 600, 800. If you were to make that 1920 by 1080, it changes the physical size of everything. That would mean that your wrap would now have to, you'd have to make it bigger, and all that means is that you know, that's how many pixels you have for drawing letters and stuff. So it doesn't need to scale with the screen resolution, it just needs to know what the ratio of the screen resolution is. Now they didn't exactly add an input in here to do that, did they? So what we're going to do, it would be nice if things stayed where I wanted them. What we're going to do is we're going to leave it at 800 by 600 because I find that quite a nice size. And even if you um, even if you change the the uh, the re reference resolution, you, you end up making your menu bigger anyway. So at the end of the day, you just want it to be the size you want it to be. Um, that's a, that's a fine size for me just for, just to show this. So we're going to make it um, scale with the height. For a, for a good reason, and you got to remember here to scale with the screen size. So that means that if we go to aspect ratio, it should always stay uh, at the right vertical position. So it's always going to stay at the bottom of the screen. Um, unfortunately, it's not moving to the side of the screen. Now, this works by updating the canvas scaler at, at you know an editor at just at all time. The way that these work is they're a little bit different because in script it doesn't know the, the resolution's changed unless you tell it to. So what we're going to do is we're going to default size of 600, 800 by 600 and we're going to make sure that the canvas is the same and we design everything at this ratio. So if everything is designed at this ratio, I've used a wrap here just so it can be zero. It doesn't need to have a wrap there. Um, now, there's two things to remember. I built the UI in the middle of my project of things here. So this UI has to now find the player and then find this menu and then find this script which houses the, the resolution data. This script is updated via the, the menu in the actual game. So, the way that this would be done is like this. See, it's out of position, so we go to options, and we pick 800 by 600, and we apply it. So now the script has been updated, you see, to um, function. Down here it's changed. It was default 9. 1,900 so that's why it was out when we started so it's been updated to 800 so what we want to do now is say we uh, we change our resolution to um, 916 so it doesn't update with it so we're going to go to our display settings and we're going to update to that one you see now uh, all that's happening here is when we change the display settings right all that's happening is it's just changing these numbers here so when we change this yeah we'll go back when we change the display setting it it changes here so change the display setting see it changes here when it's updated and then this data is now fed to the UI's data so happens on the update when it updates and then it doesn't run again that way it's not always checking the, the UI so we're in a default resolution of 800 by 600 and the UI has been updated. Now what we need to do is have a look at the script. So what we do, oh that's the wrong one, 
So what we do, ah, oh, god damn it, this script. What we need to just look at our position. So our position is the position and default ratio. So if we look at here in the bar app, the actual background image, its position is negative 154 and negative 277. So, so we've saved a rough estimate of that from before when I did the other video. There's our position. Now this works as zero as the center. Um, so there's a couple things to remember with that. Then we go and get the screen resolution, the screen width and the screen height from my game menu script. So yours will be different. We just get the uh, we get the parents, which is the main object here. Finds the parent, then it finds the menu from the parent, and then it loads the width and height into the script. And then if it's not there, it just defaults. Now it finds the left bar app. So we start the UI, it's found the player, it's found the left bar app, and it looks for the background. So it looks for the child of the left bar app, the left bar background. So let's check that it's found these two things. That's annoying, I should take that away. Um, background, it's found a background, it's found the main player, and it's found itself. So we know that the that it's uh, working at this point. Now what happens here is th this is this is the actual core of of the width scaling. So I need to explain this, which I explained before, uh, probably in a much better tutorial. But anyway, what first happens is it takes a ratio, right? So if we look at this with a calculator. We take our height, oops, we take our default canvas height. So if the canvas height changes, these numbers need to change as well. You could directly link them from the canvas, but I have no intention of changing the canvas reference. Um, you might want to. So if the canvas reference changes, this needs to change too, so that it will calculate the correct calculations. So if we go 600. Actually, to show you this, we go we go uh, 800 divided by 600 is a ratio of 1.3. So we take 600 and we times it by 1.3. That gives us 1.333. It'll give us 800. Uh, it gives us our our um, our width. Now that's that's what you're supposed to expect. It's supposed to be the height and width is the ratio, the difference, right? That's good. Now, when you change the screen resolution, and it changes the ratio to say 16 divided by 9, you have a ratio of now 1.7. So, to solve this equation, it works by doing this. 600 times the new ratio, 7, 8, or whatever it is, is going to give us a new width, but with still a height that's the same. We want to divide this width in half because we have negatives and positives. We know that before our width was 400 and we were 200 and negative 200 and something uh, into that 400. But now if we go negative 200 and something into that 400, it's, it's going to be in the center of the screen. So what we've got to do is we've got to find the new width and then calculate from the left back in. I know. So we do this by taking our position minusing it off half the original width, the default width, which will give us uh, here, you can see 400 minus 253 is 147. So we need to be 147 uh, points or meters or centimeters in from the left, but the left width increases when the ratio increases. So this here determines the new width, the difference from the left, and then it uh, takes the new width and minuses the difference. So our new position at 16.9 is going to be 386 and at 3 to 4 it's going to be uh, 253, negative 253. So we have to invert the output otherwise um, it'll give us a positive answer here uh, and it'll be on the right hand side. So I think there's a way to do both at the same time. Um, so we're either questioning from the left or we're questioning from the right. Uh, I'm not sure what happens if, if the uh, position actually crosses over center. I haven't tested that yet. 
but I plan to. Now we've found our background. It's loaded the new data, the new position based off the ratio. You don't actually have to worry about the screen width or height. It can be anything. It, it, it actually only worries about the ratio times by the canvas's default height. So if you design your UI to work at 600 by 800, then it'll perfectly scale with all the different ratios. No questions asked. And no extra maths or, or calculations or anything like that. So now after left background, rect transform. So we're going to see if the left background's rect transform is there. If it finds that, that it's true, it's going to find the rect transform, the local position, and the local position is going to equal our new position out. And we can see that our new position out, yeah, yeah, okay. We can see that our new position out is down here. So if we were to save it, just in case everything's gone bugged, and hit play. Ah, now this has happened because you can see that it's 19 by 800. So it may not work though because it defaulted into that. Um, right. So it's just set at, at whatever the resolution here is. So if we were to pick something random, uh, 5, 4, see, so this is skinnier than 800, so it's skinnier than what we originally designed it by. Let's see if it can figure this one out. So we've got 1080 by 1000. So we'll look for that one. Uh, 1280, that one. And what do you know? So even a screen that's skinnier, it can determine the, uh, the width. And that way, because height is less than the width, you can apply the ratio to the height. It's better if the scaling just scales the height, and you use um, this script to scale the width. Of course, in free aspect, it's not going to show that it's scaling because these numbers are not being updated constantly. You could question the screen's resolution layer could question this and then load as it's scrolled then free aspect would work okay hope you enjoyed um just to show you we'll pick another random one uh we'll go that one and you can see it's way off and that's 1610 2500 and bam See, so no problems, no matter what, text always goes to the same place, and it stays the same size. Um, this is how I solved UI scaling. It, it's because of the, the, the canvas reference and the ratio difference. See, if the ratio never changed from 4 to 3, the it would never matter. You could go to any resolution size, and the UI should stay in the same place. So it's only actually the, the ratio that changes that, and um, that's the code that, that fixes it. This is the code that fixes fixes that difference. Um, it could be could be a bit bit easier to understand perhaps, but um, it's pretty small all in all. Like it's in one, two, three, five lines of code. So uh, I think it did well. Hope you enjoyed and good luck.